Well, ahoy there, cruisers. We're going to tell you how to make the most of your Royal Caribbean's drink package. You paid the price, so we're going to tell you how you can get it cheaper or for free. Before we begin, though, please make sure you subscribe to our channel right now so you don't miss out on any of these essential cruise tips videos. So our first tip is how to get the package for free or with a discount. Well, we always recommend, first of all, in booking the drinks package before you get on the yeah. actual cruise. So I can hear you tell me, how can you do this? Well, sometimes Royal Caribbean on their website offers promotions such as the free ultimate drinks package. This is what you've got to take a look for on the website and it'll tell you whether that's a deal or not. Otherwise, you can log into your cruise planner, which is on the Royal Caribbean website. Just click on My Royal Caribbean and then on the cruise planner, Go into there and that's where you can book all the things such as drinks packages meals entertainment all of that jazz on there every six weeks or so royal changes up the deals so you'll see discounts we've seen discounts of 20 percent up to 50 percent and buy one get one free deal so bog off so bog yes off you deals. can get some really good um, prices on there and guess what if you're in australia canada or America, you can cancel anything you booked before if you see a better deal. So say that you booked a drinks package with 20% off, then in six months time before your cruise, they increase it to 50% off. You can go into your cruise planner, cancel that reservation for the drinks package, and then pop it back on with the new deal. How good is that? That's really good, yeah. So make sure you do keep an eye on those cruise deals. Like Ben said, they are offered randomly throughout the year for random cruises so just keep logging in every so often and follow our facebook page as well we'll always post when they're doing a drinks or a pre-cruise purchases promotion absolutely i wish we had a crystal ball so we could tell you exactly when these deals are on yeah. but they are completely random decided by royal caribbean so another quick tip here is that uh, you don't have to buy the drinks package for your full cruise as long as there's at least four days left until the end of your cruise you can then buy a drinks package whilst on board so for example if you are on a seven night cruise you only have to buy a drinks package for the last four but it has to be from the day till the end of the cruise so you can't choose the first four days of the cruise it'd have to be the end of the cruise exactly so this can save you a fortune if you don't want to have to buy the drinks package for the whole length of your cruise but just a smaller portion mm -hmm. four days or more tip number two is to order bottles of water which are also included on your drinks package now a handy little tip here is every time you go to the bar or every time you pass a bar back back going back 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 what <laughs> so a good little tip here is every time you uh, go to the bar or every time you pass the bar as you're heading back to your cabin is to grab yourself a bottle bottle of water and then you can store them in your cabin in the fridge and you can stock up there's nice cold bottles of water in your cabin at the end of the day and it's also great if you're doing any sh any shore excursions is to grab a couple of bottles of water before you leave the ship so you can save yourself buying water on land or in port so our third tip is always specify the brand that you want mm -hmm. so when you're getting cocktails on board or mixers like a gin and tonic or a pina colada the barman will just literally grab the first liquor he can find that works with the cocktail so we always recommend specifying the brands that you want because you get some of the big brands such as tanqueray and grey goose or some of the higher end liquors we always say recommend them because they taste better and they give you less of a hangover supposedly supposedly so when you're getting so <laughs> is next... that a scientific fact <laughs> yeah, well, i don't know but it just feels like it is so when you go and get your vodka and tonic ask for a gay grig a gay <laughs> a gay goose a gay goose <laughs> i'll have a gay goose that'll be a really good oh brand God. for pride <laughs> yeah so you're going to order a gin and tonic instead of getting the rubbish cheap brand ask for a grey goose and gin and tonic or ask for picardi in your next pina colada Yes. And sick. It's really good. And don't be ashamed of doing this. The barmen know that people do it. And you should do. Get the most of your money out of the, the cocktails that you're going to be having. You want them to be as high quality as possible. Yeah, if you don't ask, you don't get. Also, it's great to try different brands. Um, I like whiskey, so I, I like it because you can try all the different types of whiskey. You can make your way through the whiskey menu and it's all included. So tip number four is that don't forget you can use your drinks package in the restaurants, including the main dining room and speciality restaurants. So this is nice because you can be having your meal and have a glass of wine or your favorite drink or your favorite cocktail and you don't have to worry about it not being included. It's all completely included. Take a look as well at some of the signature cocktails that you'll find in the speciality restaurants. So each of the speciality restaurants will have a couple of cocktails that are unique to that restaurant and they usually fit the themes. So in a Zumi, you'll find cocktails inspired by Asian flavours, for example, and Wonderland has some fantastic, unique cocktails as well. 
yeah there's some amazing cocktails in wonderland you need to take a look at some of these pictures that we're showing now how cool do these look they look completely magical, don't they? And it's all included in the price of your drinks package. So tip number five is that the Bionic Bar is actually included. We didn't know this the first time we sailed. It's on the Quantum Class ships and some of the Oasis newer ships, we think. So it's the little robot thing which shakes up and mixes your cocktail. And what's great is that you can specify any ingredients you want, so any type of liquor, any type of flavours, and make some truly wacky cocktails. And it's just so much fun to watch, to take some photos of, and just enjoy some cocktails cocktails made by a robot i mean yeah where else do you get to do that apart really from like cool. japan or somewhere yeah we didn't like you say we didn't know until the very last day and it was the morning of the last day and i think we'd had a few too many cocktails the night before so i didn't really want to drink but i really wanted to try it so i literally just ordered a soda and lime <laughs> I, just, you, I just wanted the bionic bar to make me a you soda can and legitimately lime. do some ridiculous flavors like bubblegum banana flavored rum it's like it's crazy and you've yeah. got to try it guys and you do it all on a little ipad so you go and pick all of the little ingredients how strong you want it how much of each ingredients press go and you literally watch the thing that looks really rude <laughs> so you just watch it make the cocktail in front of you magic Number six is to not forget what is actually included in the drinks package. So we're going to give you a little bit of a refresher here. So first of all, alcoholic drinks up to the value of 12 or 13 US dollars are included in the package. It does depend on the ship you're on, whether it's 12 or 13 dollars. Freshly squeezed premium juices are also included, as well as premium teas and coffee. We always forget about the juice, and just think when you're having yeah. breakfast, you can go get a delicious freshly squeezed orange juice that's just made around. Absolutely delicious. So don't forget all of these little things, because we always do. And coffees and things add up as well, so yeah. that's a really good way to make the most of your package. It's not included in some Starbucks, though, is it? It's, I think it's just no. the premium coffee places. But yeah, the coffee's a lot better than the coffee you're going to get in there, say, for the buffet, which is free. So it also includes non-alcoholic cocktails and includes things like fountain sodas. So you get to use those Coca-Cola freestyle machines, which are fantastic. So you can go get your Sprite, Fanta, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, Minute Maid and mix them up into a hundred million different thousand different flavours that you'd like. They're yeah. really cool. Yeah, and also you get the uh, Coca-Cola Sylvania cup as well with that. Fancy. And the cup is the way you actually use the fountain. So they've got a little chip in them that'll register your cup so you can get your drinks as well. So make sure you do have your cup with you. You also get to use your full drinks package in the private ports such as uh, Labadee in Haiti and Coco Cay. It's fantastic. So you get to go up to any of the bars and use your uh, your C card as normal to get those free drinks, yeah. which is, we didn't even know this as well until we went on a cruise, but it's fantastic. So that saves your fortune as well. I absolutely love that because let's face it, there's nothing better than laying on a nice oh. beach with a nice cold cocktail or a nice cold beer. And it's so nice to just know that it's all included. It's, Fantastic. you know, makes the perfect beach day, as I say. You'll also get milkshakes only whilst dining at Johnny Rockets. And with other cruise lines, some of them limit the number of drinks you get. Royal Caribbean don't do this, so it truly is unlimited. So while some of the cruise lines will limit you to sort of like 12 drinks within 24 hours, you can get as many as you want with Royal. But as always, drink responsibly, please. <laughs> And when you purchase your drinks package, it already includes the cost of the gratuity in the package price. So you don't pay each individual drinks gratuity after that, which is fantastic. You know, you're not going to get a bill at the end of your cruise, essentially. You'll just pay the gratuity charge on the whole drinks package as a whole. You don't have to pay for individual drinks gratuity. And whilst we say this as well, don't forget you can use a drinks package from the moment you embark mm -hmm. till the moment you unfortunately disembark. So make sure you take full advantage of that. Yeah, especially the last day for a tea and coffee. Yeah. Your goodbye coffee. Oh, and or the, if you want to get sloshed at seven in the morning. <laughs> unfortunately, you can't do that because they close the bars. They close the bars. <laughs> yeah, you still get your speciality coffees and things like that. Unfortunately, you cannot use the drinks package to pay for drinks from room service. And the drinks in the mini bar that will be in your room are also not included. So don't get caught out by that. Yeah, but what you can do is what we do. We'd go into a bar and ask for a, a can of soda yeah. or something, and you can come back, bring that back to your room and pop it in the fridge so you can have it whenever you want. So that's a top tip yeah. to avoid those mini bar charges. So our final tip number seven is to experiment. You paid for all of that drinks package, so you might as well make full use of it. This means trying all the drinks you normally wouldn't try. Be adventurous. Yes. Experiment with different cocktails, and you don't get that buyer's remorse because you've already paid for it, so you're not wasting any money. But it gives us a great chance to try the drinks that we wouldn't normally choose and what we do is find a new cocktail every time that we didn't even think we'd like exactly variety is the spice of life as they say and we have tried cocktails where i've had a couple of sips and i've said 
Never again. A beer tail. I'm looking at you, beer tails. Beer oh. and cocktail do oh, not go no. together. No. But because I was on the drinks package, I could try it and not think, oh, darn, I've just lost $13. Dollars. Yeah. Exactly. So it is lovely to try all the different cocktails, different wines, different whiskies, whatever tickles your taste buds, really. Whatever tickles your fancy. So that's it guys for our show on the top tips to make the most use of Royal Caribbean's drinks packages. If you have any comments or tips, let us know in the comments below. If you want to support us further, you can support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Ben and David, and you get lots of rewards in return, including our podcast. And the cruise captain this week is Melanie. Ahoy! <laughs> so that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising! cruising.